Stuart, does it get any better than that? No, I think um, th there's many levels, Scott, and, and, and you, you ask the question, does it get any better? The, the feeling, obviously, for the players, the staff, everyone associated with the football club to come here and, and get a win uh, against a team that's flying so high. Um, we can sort of dig into the archives and look at league wins against Rangers and uh, see how many years that's been. Um, wins here at Ibrox for, for Motherwell. I know there was a playoff game there uh, years back, but in the actual league campaign. So um, I think it shows how how hard it is to come by for one but I think two um, it's a real indicator of how good the players were out there today I thought they were absolutely fantastic I thought that we started the game terrific I thought we were excellent at the start of the game um, we take ourselves into a real good position and you know that Rangers are going to build into it and you know that there's going to be real pressure um, one of the things that I, one of the things I talk about all the time is you know we've had a lot of plaudits for some of our attacking play and how we how we create chances how we score goals and we get a couple of good ones today um, but I think the dying art in football is how you defend your penalty box sometimes and we've had a, a little bit of criticism and a lot of that's been labelled from me at times to individuals and to, to players um, but one example of how to defend your penalty box and we needed a goalkeeper to stand strong in amongst that it's not just the defenders a couple of saves that he makes in there really really helps us um, and I think what delighted me most is when you absorb that much pressure I think we showed we're a good team as well I think we showed even throughout the game in the second half where last week we potentially dropped off a little bit more against Celtic when we found ourselves in a reasonable position I thought that we carried a real threat going forward big Theo Bear um, he can make the ball stick he can run in behind you and I thought he gave their centre backs plenty to think about so um, so much to like from us it's, uh, it's been a tough old week for us three games in six days where we'll face Celtic and Rangers um, and obviously Livingston in amongst that as well in a high pressure game and I think that the players have showed what they're made of You've had multiple run-ins with the old firm this season and we've came close we've it taken away from us in stoppage time on a number of occasions actually what was the difference today? Why, why were we able to get over the line? I think sometimes that learning curve, Scott, if I'm being honest with you, um, I, I, keep, I keep saying pre-match when you play against Rangers or Celtic that we want players to come out the other end of those games as better players. And I don't just say that for effect. It's that you learn from your experiences. For you to become a better professional and a better player for Motherwell Football Club, you have to learn from those experiences. I hate being a glorious loser. I hate being somebody you know, that gets it snatched away from you in the last couple of minutes. So you have to use that bit of heartache and you know, understand what you've piled into the game, but also realise that with full concentration levels and with the, with the ability that I believe we've got in that dressing room, that you can achieve results like this now um, we have been really competitive with Rangers and Celtic in the, in the last year or so I think everyone will acknowledge that I think each time we play against Rangers or Celtic they, they, they kind of know that it's going to be a proper game and that we're going to be well in the mix um, but I, I, again in, for, you know, in answer to your question it's learning from your experiences and I felt that there was plenty on that pitch today done that and there was plenty of experience that really served as well um, in understanding how to manage and handle the game the occasion you hear the atmosphere in here um, the wee bit of pressure that comes on the officials or big bit of pressure that comes on the officials uh, I've seen that the, the penalty back again for Rangers it doesn't look like a penalty to me if, if that's a clear and obvious error for the referee then uh, I'm, I'm amazed at, 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 in saying that um, but listen we're not going to get hung up on that we managed to win the game and it didn't come back to bite us uh, and del delighted for the travelling support again over in that corner to my right I thought they were fantastic throughout the day um, and I think it serves up a real good Saturday night for them this team has received a lot of criticism this season. How, just how proud are you of this? This seemed to be a spark amongst the players. We are on a bit of a run now since the new year. We we kind of forget aspects as well, and I don't want to get carried away. But I've just said it to the players there. It's, uh, you know, I, I believe I'm, I'm I'm a really humble person. I believe I'm a really humble guy, but I also believe I'm a person that puts great demand on players. But I thanked them for their efforts today. That's what I done. I thanked them for um, how they performed because sometimes you take that as a given. They give me everything. You know, I say this all the time. They give me everything every single day of their life. They're the, probably the most honest group of players that I've ever worked with and any mistake that they make is an honest mistake you know sometimes that brings frustration for myself the supporters the staff you know individually in the in the dressing room um, but listen I think you've got to tip your cap, your cap to them and what they put on show for, for this football club today and um, you know I instruct them I, I put demands on them we go and try and set out a game plan um, but I thought that the execution of it today was just first class Thanks for your time Stuart and very well done Cheers Scott